it's been a good day at the Physics Dojo. Uh, Veritasium posted his official answers to the revolutionary riddles, and I'm really pleased with the outcome. I, I thought they were great answers. Uh, I, I think that my own answers were, were quite consistent with them, so um, thanks, Derek, for, for putting that out. It really inspired me to uh, get out and make some videos, which I'd been wanting to do for quite some time. Uh, and thank you, everybody, who commented. Uh, it was really, really positive feedback overall. Uh, I got a number of subscribers. The, the channel has grown. Uh, in fact, it's grown so much that I decided to uh, put on another video here uh, in which I actually want to show a demonstration for you. Just a, a kind of a quick one today. So I'll do a demonstration for you shortly. Uh, it involves a Diet Coke and a Sharpie. Uh, no Mentos are involved and uh, it, uh, it's definitely a one that is do try it at home. So uh, hopefully you can scrounge up a, a, a can of some kind of a soft drink and uh, a Sharpie marker or something similar. All right, for the demonstration, you're gonna need a can of carbonated soft drink of your choice. I do find that Diet Coke works really well. I'll explain to you my choice after I show you the demonstration itself. Uh, you need something like a Sharpie marker, works really well. Uh, I'm not getting <laughs> endorsed by either of these uh, companies, by the way, but this does work really well. Uh, you also need a place that if you make a mess, it's not gonna be too much of a problem. So you might wanna try this outdoors before you try it indoors until you get the hang of it. I'll explain to you how it works and how to do it after I show you the demonstration. So let me just do it. Uh, I will simply say this though. I've done nothing to this can of Coke other than grab it and bring it in here. I haven't tampered with it in any way, nor have I tampered with the Sharpie marker in any way. This is a off the shelf can and an off the shelf Sharpie. So this is the demonstration from beginning to end. Here we go. All right, let's explain how this works. When you're pressing on the top of the Sharpie with the marker, you're pressing fairly hard, and that causes the top of the can, the aluminum, to kind of bend back and forth. Every time that the Sharpie, if you will, kind of rides across, it depresses the aluminum down. Uh, that flexing, especially on the weak point that it's designed to tear anyway when you just open it with the tab, uh, that flexing weakens the aluminum to the point that it fails. And here's the neat part. Since there's a lot of pressure in the can, it explodes, releasing that pressure in a very, very dramatic way. Uh, as you see, the can lid gets blown upwards. That's just from that loss of pressure, that, that ex uh, explosive expansion really that occurs. Uh, and of course, the sound that you hear is just that gas rushing out in a way that's really analogous to a small scale gunshot. Okay, let me show it to you one more time, this time close up from above. I'm holding the can as if ready to drink from it. I turn the can roughly 90 degrees so that the opening is closest to my opposite hand. I hold the marker, marker rather, uh, with roughly an inch or so uh, exposed from the bottom. I hold the marker vertically and I hold the can near the top so as to prevent it from getting away from me without squeezing the can too much. Mostly I'm pressing down to just hold it secure, like so. I then take the marker and I'm going to right away hold it vertical, I'll just, just let me show you before I do. Uh, I'm just gonna go back and forth, back and forth, uh, just kind of riding the marker into the point where the stamp is that it would normally tear from in, in opening the can. I'm gonna be pressing firm enough though that if that were on my hand, it would be, uh, it would be starting to hurt my hand. That's how hard I'm pressing. Here we go. There's the demonstration. All right, here's a couple of tips on how to do this well, okay? Because it's not a hard demonstration to do, but it's, it's hard to do it well. Uh, you'll notice that I didn't actually make any mess with the Coke. Uh, my success rate is something like uh, 75, 80%. I make a mistake and sometimes do make a mess, but uh, I got pretty good here. Uh, that was one take. You're gonna wanna hold the can pretty firmly so it doesn't get away, but you have to be really careful not to give a death grip. Uh, because if you have a death grip on that can and the pressure is released, once that pressure's gone, you're gonna crush that can and cause a big mess of Coke to spill out. So uh, it, it's important to hold it secure, but try not to crush inwards. I find it helpful if you kind of hold it nearer to the top of the can, and mostly you're pushing down and not inwards. So push it down so it doesn't get away from you, hold it nearer to the top. Uh, the Sharpie, I advise that you hold it uh, just, 
just around there, you'll have maybe um, an inch and a half or so kind of exposed, give or take. Um, you don't want to hold it too low. Uh, the problem of holding it too low is that you're going to be going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You might be fine while the can is still sealed, uh, but inevitably, experience, I speak from experience, trust me on this one, uh, when that can lid blows upwards, if you are too low, you will probably not react quick enough. You're going to go back and forth another one or two times, and that metal is sharp. Uh, like I said, I think I've got scars to prove it. Uh, you can slice your fingers, so really you want to be high enough to be clear of that lid when it blows up. So uh, actually, yeah, maybe more like one inch is probably adequate inch or so. So uh, somewhere's around there, give or take.